So what's the Yadia Elite Prime electric scooter? That's coming right up. Hey guys, it's Rick from Run Playback. In this video, we're checking out the Yadia Elite Prime electric scooter, a sleek, futuristic scooter that aims to provide a stylish and reliable riding experience. In this review, we'll dive into its key features, ranging from the innovative suspension system to its futuristic aesthetics, while also highlighting a few limitations that potential riders should consider. So let's get to it. One of the standout features of the Elite Prime is its single arm cantilever design, contributing to a clean and minimalist aesthetic combined with a wide footboard layered with a strong, grippy material. The scooter has a modern and sophisticated appeal, making it an attractive option for riders who value style. Equipped with polymer suspension, the Elite Prime boasts enhanced toughness and durability. This innovative system surpasses traditional spring and damping shock absorbers by providing greater deformation ability, effectively reducing vibrations, and ensuring a smooth and comfortable journey while minimizing the impact of uneven terrain. The 10 inch self healing tubeless tires with an inner polymer memory coating serve as another noteworthy feature. The high density, flexible nature of the coating creates a self healing, leak proof zone. This tire design adds an extra layer of convenience as riders can enjoy a worry free experience with reduced risks of punctures or air leaks. Weighing in to 64 pounds, the Audia Elite Prime falls within the range of scooters in a similar class. However, it's worth noting that this weight might be a limiting factor for some users, especially those residing in walk-up apartments or individuals seeking greater portability. So depending on where you live, handling and transporting the scooter may require additional effort and considerations. The Elite Prime is powered by a robust 1500 watt motor, providing ample power for most riders. The inclusion of a dual disc brake system enhances stopping power, allowing for more controlled and responsive braking. This setup ensures a safer riding experience and mitigates brake noise, which can be a nuisance for some users. Additionally, the scooter features a drum brake and electric cutoff, providing multiple layers of brake redundancy. Today we're going to check out the Yadia Elite Prime electric scooter. It has a space gray color with a few futuristic details. The first thing that you'll notice is this single arm cantilever design. Since there's no arm on this side of the wheel, it keeps everything pretty clean and minimalist. Same thing on the other side over there. Now they say you can put whatever you want on this side of the wheel. You want to put graphics or whatever. Obviously you have the foldable stem. You got a bright orange latch over here and the bars are pretty minimalist. You have the throttle, brakes, signal switches, and then this is your display. Might be hard to see in the sun but it's pretty bright. You also have this bell right here. Now it's hard to tell, but they say there's a polymer suspension located over here and in the back. I don't know too much about polymer suspension, but compared to spring shocks, it's supposed to have better elasticity, better absorption, much smoother ride. We'll see when we test it out, but that's what it says on the website. So we also have 10 inch tubeless wheels. There's also some kind of self healing polymer material over here. So in case there's a puncture, it'll self heal. Kickstand is over here, matches the bike pretty well. It is made out of plastic, so I'm not sure how durable this is. Over here is the magnetic charge port. This is a really cool feature, so when you charge it, it just like clamps on and you don't have to push it in or use any force. I've never seen this before on an electric scooter. This platform is pretty wide. This is angled for your rear foot. Now as far as brakes, you have this disc brake over here. There's also an electric cutoff and I believe the drum brake is on this side. The frame is aluminum alloy, which makes it somewhat lightweight, but it is still pretty heavy. The total weight of the scooter is about 64 pounds. Definitely not a lightweight by any means, but pretty similar to other scooters in its class. Maybe a little bit lighter. So you can carry it up and down stairs. Not easy, but it's doable. Just something to think about if you have to transport it frequently. It does have a 1500 watt motor. We'll see how much top speed that gives us. Now in terms of battery, it's a 46.8 volt, 14.5 amp hour battery. It's a ternary lithium battery, which I actually had to look up. I didn't know what that was. Supposedly it has a higher energy density compared to regular lithium cells. Finally, we have the integrated headlight. Hard to tell, but it's pretty bright at night. You also have the integrated taillight that blinks when you hold down the brake. And you also have the integrated signal lights with the audible beep. That's right, and it auto shuts off just in case you forget. Now I'll show you guys how this thing folds down. So lift up the latch, pull down, bring out this little hook over here, attach it like that, and that's pretty much it. And then you can carry it wherever you need to go. Okay, so now that we did the walkthrough, let's take it out for its first ride. Inside of the app, you could change the gear switching, uh, a bunch of other things in it. Not a whole lot of features. One thing that it doesn't have is disabling the kickstart option. I like to start the scooter with the throttle and it doesn't actually have that. You have to kick into it. Some people like it, some people don't. Some people think that it conserves the battery. So that's kind of just something that I wish that they did. Now that everything's connected, let's take it out for its first ride. 
All right, it's got a nice little kick to it. Pretty smooth. Yeah, the tune is really smooth, really easy to ride. Has lots of stopping power. Very smooth, I, I feel like there's some regen in the stopping as well. Yeah, not bad. Really easy to maneuver. Lots of grip. I feel like my feet are like really planted. And yeah, it is absorbing this uneven terrain really well, believe it or not. I think this polymer suspension is working because compared to, yeah, spring shocks, I would definitely be feeling a lot more than I'm feeling right now. So, wow, what a smooth, smooth ride. Let's see if I could take it up. Yeah, look, I'm like going over all these bumps. Not a big deal, wow, lots of stopping power, okay. Let's see, not sure how much top speed I'm getting, I'm in sport mode. This feels like the top speed. Oh man, first impressions. Uh, the brakes are, I think they're just too close, I don't know if there's a way to adjust it, but oh wow, overall, first impressions. This is one of the smoothest scooters I've ridden in a really long time. It's good for beginners and good for intermediate riders as well. I think people who are really experienced or maybe they want something more powerful, the Apollo Phantom is probably more appropriate, but yeah, the Elite Prime, the design, the packaging, just the futuristic elements to it that make it stand out from like all the other scooters out there, I think it's uh, really well thought out. And yeah, the ride, uh, just matches the aesthetic. So that was really cool. That was really, really smooth. Something that I think would be super easy to ride through downtown, through a city. And yeah, lots of stopping power. There's some sort of like triple brake system. So the regen, you know, the manual braking, the drum braking and the disc brake, they all work in conjunction and they all work really, really well. With a 46.8 volt, 14.5 amp hour, ternary lithium battery, the Elite Prime offers a respectable range compared to its competitors. The battery's higher energy density, in comparison to other chemical batteries, allows riders to travel up to 40 miles on a single charge. This extended range ensures that riders can embark on longer journeys without frequent interruptions for recharging. The inclusion of an integrated headlight, taillight, and signal lights with audible beeps enhances rider safety, particularly during nighttime riding or in low light conditions. These features improve visibility for both the rider and surrounding pedestrians or vehicles. Additionally, the magnetic power port simplifies the charging process, providing a secure and hassle-free connection. Constructed with an aviation-grade 6-series aluminum alloy frame, the Elite Prime offers excellent corrosion resistance and strength. This durable material ensures the scooter can withstand various environmental conditions and daily wear and tear, ensuring longevity for the user. Now, despite its commendable features, there are a few limitations worth considering. First, the Elite Prime lacks a kickstart disable option, which may be a drawback for riders who prefer a throttle only start option. Additionally, the scooter's weight of 64 pounds may prove cumbersome for some users residing in walk-up apartments or those who frequently need to transport it. These factors should be taken into account by individuals with specific mobility or logistical requirements. The Yadia Elite Prime combines a sleek and minimalist design with notable features such as the innovative suspension system, powerful motor, and futuristic appeal. While it lacks a kickstart disable option and may be relatively heavy for some users, it remains an appealing choice for riders seeking a stylish and reliable electric scooter. Its advanced technology, safety features, and durable construction definitely make the Elite Prime worth considering. If you want to dive into more EV tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you find tech deals that fit your lifestyle. We'll see you guys in the next video.